Okay, in this tutorial, uh, we're going to be looking at doing the finishing touches to the phone and then we're finally done after these hours and hours of modeling. So we're going to go to our uh, front view and we're going to create a cylinder. We're going to create the two screws that go next to the charging port there. We're going to create a pipe uh, like this and just checking the 3D view. It looks like that. So obviously I just pulled out the pipe so I can start to see the middle of it. I'm not really worried about how big it is at this stage. Um, and I'm going to shrink it down a bit and okay so before we do anything else to our cylinder this one's going to be have a star shape in it so um, just to show you the reference image we'll be doing these two things here so they are star shapes so uh, to create a star shaped screw you will need to create a, a pipe with 30 subdivisions while we're here Let's actually go ahead and create what we would need to do for our screw with the plus, the volume up button, and that's going to need 24 subdivisions. So do, do 24 first, um, hit Control D, and move that 24 one out of the way. Um, okay, and it, just trust me, it's 24 and 30. So polypipe one, um, back on the original one again, increase the subdivisions up to 30. And then let's just see it in the 3D view. On the in, on the faces on the inside of the pipe, we're going to need to select uh, sort of any three faces, and then skip three faces, select more, so three more, skip three, set three more, skip three, uh, select three more, and skip three, and select three more there. Hit resize, um, like that. Don't worry that it's sort of shrinking in on the edges like this. I will sort that out later. Let's just go, go to a front view. So um, let's shrink it down to about um, just about there so that these edges here still have angles on them. And then um, now we just need to select the faces in the very center like this. Um, space bar back, hit resize and bring them in even smaller to about there. You can give them a little rounded edge in the middle, but you just created a uh, a, a star shaped screw which you'll then need to just maybe jump to your side view hit four and go to uh, to uh, go to just go to vertex mode I obviously selected the other screw now get out of the way so get these vertices here and then just shrink them down so they are completely flat same with the ones at the back we probably won't need those anyway um, 3d view Okay, so let's give this screw a bevel on the outside, so um, double click on it and go ahead and hit uh, bevel on that. You will need to go onto poly bevel. You probably should have deleted history before that, but find the poly bevel it was for and um, give it a fairly big bevel like that. And uh, I'm actually going to bevel these two edges again just to be really sort of uh, let's go down to the what would be poly bevel 4 and reduce them down so it's super sharp like this and see if we can do it on the inside as well go ahead and hit uh, bevel on that and and then if you really want on these yeah we probably just add a couple of edge loops in this gap here so when we hit 3 it knows what it's uh, knows what it's doing so um, okay so that's what it looks like when we hit 3 I'm going to add one more edge loop to the middle of these because that star shape is distorting it slightly. It doesn't really matter, but um, that's great. So uh, we've got that. We can probably go ahead and um, delete the faces at the back because we don't. We're never going to see those. And move your screw down into the phone. Um, yeah. What we can also do is just um, we can probably just get away with going to our front view. Um, where is it? And just create like a tiny little, uh, a tiny little plane inside of that. Um, this is in the middle of our grid. I just created a small plane there. You can probably see it here. I'm going to move that just to the back of our screw um, to fill up the the hole slightly. So just move that into there. Make sure you can't see it. There you go. And I'm just going to combine it with that. So when we come to shading it later on, we. Uh, we know what's going on, so that's great. Um, I might just move that face slightly forward a bit. That would do. So now I can move that um, into... Then I'm going to resize it a bit like this. See what it looks like on our reference image. Yeah, so alright, they're, they're pretty big. So uh, that will do there. 
and um, you can do one for the other side as well. Rotate it a bit, give it a bit of variation. There you go. And um, okay, now we're going to have a go at modeling the volume up button for our phone. So we will need to create a cylinder. Um, again, just drag it out so you can see it. Jump into your 3D view and pull it out. Um, this cylinder needs to have. Whoops. Let's complete that. Go to object mode. This cylinder needs to have. Sorry, this pipe needs to have uh, 48 um, subdivisions. Uh, so it's going to be slightly more tricky than the star that we've just done. And the reason it's got so many divisions is because the plus symbol in the middle does need to have the sharpest corners that we can really manage. So these divisions give us a little bit more to work with, whilst at the same time maintaining a perfect uh, circular shape around the edge. So. So for this one, we're going to need to se select every six faces and then skip six faces. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Skip six. One, two. Okay, and that needs to be done exactly um, by six and then skip six. Uh, and then we can just have a go at pulling that in like this. And we're just going to pull it in. Uh, jump into the front view quick and just pull it in so that these lines here stay sort of straight. So this point could go in a straight line to that point. And next, I'm going to I'm just going to flatten it from the side view. So jump into your side view here, go to your vertexes and shrink them down uh, like this. Okay, uh, back to your front view, and we're going to want to just sort of move these. Uh, right, so yeah, rotate the whole object um, like this so that it's sort of aligned with the grid. Um, so whatever angle yours was at before, just uh, try and get it lined up as neat as you can. That's probably as best as I'm going to manage. And once you've done that, uh, we can see we need to rotate the pivot so that when we select things to resize like this, it does it properly. So select the whole object and hit freeze transformations. and. Uh, now your pivot should be reset and uh, should be lined up like this. Now you're free to go and move these vertices in. This may take a few minutes. Just do it roughly to start with and just move them roughly into position like this. So trying to distribute the edges equally between the vertical and the horizontal axis there. Okay, and once you've got that, you should have a pretty wobbly looking plus symbol. So I'm going to go and select uh, like a whole side like this and hit R for resize and squish it in like that. And same for this side here. Let's try and line it up as neatly as I can. Okay, so you should have a nice little plus symbol uh, there now. If you want to, if you think the plus symbol on the phone's a lot slimmer, which it is, you can go ahead and select these and just uh, resize them into there. And just try and do this uh, equally. Okay, so when we uh, hit three, we can see sort of what happens. It's still got some soft edges here. We're going to come back to that in a minute. Let's get back into your front view and let's just uh, sharpen up these areas here. So I'm going to flatten these ones out as well. That should do it. And then we're going to go and bevel the inside of this and the outside at the same time. So double click on any edge around that plus symbol there. Shift, double click around the edge um, and hit bevel. And just select the object, uh, try to find your bevel amongst all this mess. So I think this is poly bevel six for me. And I'm gonna increase the segments to two and that should do. Yeah, I'm gonna delete the faces at the back at the same time as well. So just go to face, select all the faces at the back. There we go and shift select the ones we don't want to delete and hit delete so uh, the back should be open like that so that when we hit three um, this is the result we get at the moment and it's not too bad and um, let's see if we can sharpen some of these corners without editing the shape of the circle too much i'm just going to duplicate this really quick before i do that which can also help us create the volume down icon in a second so this one here let's go and i'm um, keep staying in uh, three mode or um, soft preview mode, but let's uh, go to these corners here and just try adding in a couple um, of edge loops just around the corner like that. So if I just go back to this mode, you can see I'm just putting two 
on each corner like that. And then you've hit three. And just add a bit more geometry there. If you're not careful, um, the corners or parts of the outside um, of the cylinder here do, do start to get quite flat edges when there's loads of edge loops going over it and it looks quite disfigured. Um, so watch out for that. But because we've got so many edge loops anyway from the 48 divisions at the start, we shouldn't notice it too much when we add these corners in here. So that's our plus symbol done. Okay, so on the backup um, volume up button that we made earlier, um, I should have actually backed it up before I beveled it. So we need to now just delete that bevel and these faces here. So the easiest way to do that is to just um, hold down shift and double, so select one face, hold down shift, double click on a face next to it to select all the faces on the inside. And then hit your shift and full stop on your keyboard, which should be the right arrow. Um, just to increase your selection, uh, hit delete, jump to your front view, and we now need to tell all of these uh, vertices to sort of line up to uh, create a minus symbol. So very roughly, I'm going to select all these like this and just sort of move them down, making sure nothing goes inside out. Again, this is just a bit faster than modeling it from scratch, so but at least it saves us doing that. And we know that the Symbols would be the same size as well, so just uh, move these in a bit. Okay, we can't really delete these uh, vertices of these edges because of the uh, circle around the outside. That's going to move these up to there. That'll do. And once you've got it all lined up, just uh, select the entire of one side of your uh, minus symbol. Hit resize and just shrink it all down to there. And same with this side as well. Make sure you don't miss any out and just resize those down to there. And then we can go double click on the inside edge, jump to our 3D view, um, hit extrude, and just uh, click on that uh, icon there and then resize these down like this. Okay, uh, let's give a little bit of a bevel on the edge there by pushing it in and then hit G to extrude again. Click on the little power button icon there and push that down. And then we can probably just go and add a little edge loop in the middle, whoops, along there. And then if we hit three, we should have quite a nice uh, minus symbol as well. And if you want, it might be a good idea to actually go to your front view. And you could probably uh, resize these out so that we get some more edges near the corners. So we keep the corners quite sharp. Um, so I'm just going to do that by doing this. And that's better. So uh, that's the um, volume up and volume down buttons meticulously modeled there. Okay, now we're going to uh, move the buttons into place on the side. But uh, before we do that, we need to create uh, a hole for them to go in uh, because I don't want to just stick them on. I want to be able to see, just like this image here, I just want to see some of the little groove around the edge of the buttons there so you can't just plonk them on top. So we could painstakingly um, do what we did for this headphone jack here, or we could just use that exact um, section of phone and move it around the edge. So what we'll do is duplicate our outer part of the phone like that, and let's delete everything that isn't to do with that. So, Okay, so uh, to select this section of phone, it can be a bit tricky because of all the detail around the edge. I'm just going to get to a view where I can see it like this and select it. I don't want to be selecting anything over there. So I'm just selecting it exactly like that and hitting shift and then the full stop button on our keyboard or which should have a right arrow above it to grow the selection. And I'm just going to grow it to um, about there. A section of the whole phone should be selected. Hold on shift, select everything else and hit delete. So this should give us something to work with and connect to the rest of the phone. Um, I can see if I hit F, this is unfortunately starting to go around a corner, which is desperately annoying. So I'm going to shift, double click above to delete that section there. I just want to keep the flat edges. Uh, I can probably get away with deleting this spiky section here uh, off the edge of the wet, uh, off the edge as well and trimming that down. If you're having trouble working out what on earth is going on here, you can probably just select the right hand edge of the phone and just move it out so you can see what's going on, but you haven't got to. Um, to see if this works, let's center pivot 
and I'm going to move around to where the volume up and volume down buttons are, which I'm going to say is just for the fun of it, they're about the same size as a headphone jack. So let's hit E, hold down J to snap rotate like this. So I've just rotated it by uh, 90 degrees that way. We can move these into position later, but uh, we need to create a gap for the button to go in. So I'm going to create a gap here. I'll move it in a minute and then I'm going to create another gap just there. So one button is going to be on these faces. Another one's going to be on those faces uh, there. So let's just duplicate your mesh before you do anything crazy. So just to be safe and I'm going to go to face and delete those ones. Okay, so I'm going to go to face. Uh, I'm just going to go to press four so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to select this whole strip here as well. Hit delete and there's also another section uh, just along just near the top that I'm also going to cut out where the silent switch would be so I'm going to cut another hole just there and hit uh, and go to face and delete that okay so now what we should be able to do is move this hole there and there just roughly is fine and now just hold down shift select all three parts of geometry hit combine uh, and now we can have a go at bridging. So just to bridge, I'll select this edge here, hold down shift, select one near the bottom, same on this side. Go ahead and hit bridge. And that's worked fine. Same for here as well. There to there and there to there and G there to there and there to there. Hit G. That's looking good now. So again, if we just test this by hitting three, it should look quite nice. We've got two holes ready to sling the buttons in. Next, um, the ring or silent thing, uh, we need to put that in as well. I'm actually gonna use this piece of geometry here um, for that. So I'm gonna go to face, sorry, I'm gonna duplicate this whole mesh again. I can probably delete this one now because I know it's worked fine. I'm gonna duplicate that mesh, go to face and select everything around there and select shift select everything else hit delete object mode center pivot rotate hold down j 90 degrees and move this up here i can resize it later so what i'll do is move these vertices out of the way to give us plenty of room and we can sort this out later so move that into position there and make sure it's all perfectly lined up with the phone so that will do all right, so again, we should just be able to combine these objects, go to edge mode and click on the opposite edges and hit bridge. And again, with these edges here and G. Okay, and this shape's gonna be much smaller. Um, so I need to, um, I could probably do it this way. If I shift, uh, click on one next to it, hold down shift and right arrow or full stop um, to grow the selection, oh, that was too much. To grow the selection, let's just zoom in to make sure we get all those bevels. So make sure you've got all of them like that. Uh, and then we can just hit R to resize and I'm gonna do something uh, like this. And that should do. What I might actually do as well is jump into the, uh, to the side view. Um, I'm gonna have to go to the right view. Left view, yeah, left view for this. Um, and I'm going to need to select these vertices here. I don't think there's anything on the other side of the phone, which is lucky. So I haven't got to uh, isolate select. Um, I'm going to, again, just because I'm being really picky, I'm going to sort of um, move these up to there. Yeah, I'm just going to shrink these down like this um, to give us a sharper corner at the top and the bottom. Same for here. Shrink those down so it looks like it's um, pretty much symmetrical and resize those there as well. So instead of being quite an oval shape, I've just got it rounded like a rectangle with rounded corners now, like it should be in the image. And that's not looking too bad. So I hit three and that should be fine. So let's uh, move these buttons into position. Uh, so just uh, hold down J and let's just re uh, resize these together. Hit W, move that over there. And just hit R to resize. So I'm just going to move these closer together again. Hit R to resize, shrink them down, move them up uh, roughly to position. Let's go to our side view again and make sure we get this uh, just right. So I want to just about see 
the uh, hole that they fit into. So maybe that's a tiny bit too big. And just very carefully move that down to there. And very carefully move this one to there. I know it's the same size as the other one because I've been resizing it along with it as well. Okay, so I'm going to create the button to go in that hole now. So I'm going to create a polygon cube uh, like this. Just uh, drop it to 3D view, pull it back, and just uh, resize it down a bit in the side view there. That'll do. Um, so if you, in a 3D view, just get rid of the back face here. Um, sling in an edge loop quite near the front there. And then something roughly equally distant apart on the sides there. And hit 3. And that should give us something about right. And then W. And it should just uh, fit quite nicely in there. And you might just need to go and adjust the um, size so it fits in there. That'll do. Great. So uh, you've got your button in there. Now we just need to create the back faces for some of these areas here. In fact, what I'll do, I'm going to just... Uh, this button's a bit too rounded at the front. So I'm just going to go ahead and extrude that. But I'm going to just uh, pull it in like this. Um, and now... I will go ahead and hit three. And it's just a bit sharper at the top there, which is super. Great. So let's go ahead and add the back faces in here. So just go to your side view and just uh, just drag a plane over there roughly. And in your 3D view, just pop it into place there. I'm just going to pop it down to there. Just resize it a lot. And that's fine. I'm going to duplicate that face and move it to the plus and minus buttons. Um, these, I'm actually going to... I'm going to trim off these edges here. And you might need to just to add a couple of edge loops. Just one there and one there. And go to your vertices and then just um, resize those in uh, like this. Like that, that'll do it. And once you've done that, you can go ahead and hit uh, combine with the actual button itself. Whoops, before we do that, let's just duplicate it to the minus one. And then just uh, combine that and the minus one as well. That should do. I'm going to push these buttons in actually quite far. Just sense a pivot if you can't see it. Move that into there. Move that into there. Click on this one and move it into there. That's great. So again, just combine those like that so it's nice and neat. And I'm actually going to combine that with a face behind it as well. Great. So uh, now we're pretty much done. So you've got your phone with the screws at the bottom, the holes and the volume buttons on the side and even the little uh, switch there for the volume. So one more thing, uh, while we're adding planes, I'm just going to add a little um, plane at the top for our speaker hole. So just uh, plop that in from the top view, uh, slide that in underneath there. And so then your speakers uh, should just go down to that. And uh, same for the bottom view. Let's jump to the bottom view, get a little uh, plane um, like this and just sneak that in near the speaker holes. Okay, and control D that to uh, there. There we are. Okay, if you want to be really uh, specific with this, just uh, go to face. I'm going to actually shrink this down a bit, and grow the selection a bit, and uh, shrink that down even smaller like this. Okay, and we can really quickly add some pins in there as well, just so we've got super detailed stuff going on. I'm just going to to put that up to there add a couple of edge loops on it like this um, and then just go ahead and hit three and w just move that up here and we can just uh, make these gold little tiny gold pins later on make it really small okay and just go to your front view here make sure you distribute them evenly so i'm just going to have one there duplicate it so we meet that edge loop at the same point over there Okay, so um, I'm going to add some pins in between here. I want to try and make it look like it's um, about even. Um, so I'm just going to create a plane just as a reference that goes from here to here. Um, go to polyplane 5 it would be. Uh, I've, I've literally just got it roughly in the right area. Subdivisions width. Just add in some subdivisions really so you can see how many pins you should put in between. I'm going to just leave it at that for now. Okay, it's important that I just uh, make sure that's in the middle like this. Um, I can then I can just go along and duplicate these, putting each one on one of those for uh, edges, and then I've done it evenly. So I've just made a rudimentary uh, ruler there, and then I can delete it once it's done. And I know these are evenly distributed along there, and I think there's something going on on the side. So I'm going to duplicate that and rotate that one, and sling that in the side of the phone, and duplicate that again for the other side. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to push those in a bit uh, like this. Okay, cool. And then get one of these polygon planes, duplicate it again, and pop it at the back 
of the uh, charging area there and uh, that should do. Okay so after we've done that we can see our phone is actually uh, completely modelled so just go ahead and hit 3 on the geometry um, that you haven't done it to yet and you should be able to see everything's looking really good. Uh, now our phone is ready to go into the texturing and then the lighting stage.